إن الحمد لله إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا إنه من يهديه الله فهو المهتدي ومن يضل فلا نتج له وليا مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وحبيبه أشهد أنه قد بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة ومحى الغمة وجاهد في لحق جهاد حتى أتاه اليقين فصلاة وسلاما على عبدك ونبيك محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى وإن منكم إلا واردها كان على ربك حتما مقضيا وعن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه قال عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال قال من كانت عنده مظلمة لأخيه من عرضه أو من شيء فليتحلله يتحلله منه اليوم قبل أن لا يكون دينارا ولا درهم وإن كان له عمل صالح أخذ منه بقدر مظلمته وإن لم يكن له حسنات أخذ من سيئات صاحبه فحمل عليه رواه البخاري أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام أما بعد All praise to Allah. All praise to Allah, the one, the only, the one who should be worshipped. I bear witness that he is the creator of this universe. And he is the one who should be worshipped. I bear witness that Muhammad, alayhi salatu was salam, is his messenger. True mercy sent to us. If you follow his path, inshallah, we'll be in Jannah. Amma bad, in the last three khutbah, subhanallah, I was assigned here for the last three khutbah, and this is the fourth. I was talking about the Prophet, alayhi salatu was salam, and the first one until he's 40, and from 40 until his death, and last one, I talked about his death only because it's the hardest calamity. I was thinking, what should I follow it with? And really, it will hit me that, okay, let me follow his commands, what he wants from us, what the Prophet wants from us. He wants all of us to go to Jannah. The Prophet wants all of us to go to Jannah. But if it's that easy, we will not be here, we'll be in Jannah. Then it needs a little bit effort, a little bit of work, <clears throat> a little bit of what should we do? And I told you before that on the hellfire, on Azubillah, everyone in the ayah I related, every one of us will be passing over the hellfire, Azubillah. And not only that, there are seven checkpoints. Not only you're passing and flying, maybe you have wings and fly. No. Someone will stop you. Stop. Answer. And every bridge has its own question, different than others. The first one, like I told you, Shihatu Allah la ilaha illallah. Seven bridges. Shihatu Allah la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. If you believe in Allah, you pass. If not, stay. Where do you stay? In the hellfire. You're going down. This person is going down, Allah. Okay? The second, prayer. Third, fasting. Fourth, zakah. Fifth, hajj. And the sixth bridge, which I told you before, the most of I'm not saying this is the scariest one. Hukuk al ibad. What's the rights on each other? And the right of every one of us, everyone has rights on each other. Let's see. Who is the most one who should be have rights on? The first one, 
in this dunya definitely is our parents the parents are the most people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even when he cho chose that chose them talk about them Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala order us not to worship anyone but him and be good to your parents and this is wa and you see wa means that similar which is okay how similar believing in Allah and working uh, taking care of my parents Allah raised them as high as it can go that's why you have to worry about them what should we do about our parents they are alive khatib take care of them call them make sure that they are happy with you as much as they can okay because the ishraq i will not follow if they are mushrikeen i'm not following the ishraq only but take care of them if they are dead make dua to them make dua to them in every prayer I told you between the sujood, so Allah maghfirli wa liridai al muslimin agbain, Allah maghfirli wa liridai wa ashabi al yuqa alay. Between the sujood, when you sit, everyone is sitting, be quiet. <laughs> I don't have anything to say. Now you have something to say. Allah maghfirli wa liridai al muslimin agbain, Allah maghfirli wa liridai wa ashabi al yuqa alay. Whatever you like, choose it. Pray to your parents. Two, make sure that you don't take what doesn't belong to you. Anything. Anything. When I mean anything, anything, money, even something that doesn't belong to you, which is the easiest way is money. I work in a company. I should, I have a contract with them to work for eight hours. I have to pray Dhuhr and Asr, right? In the prayer time, it's included in my time. No, don't include it in your time. Pray five minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, add 10 minutes at the end. Very important to know that. If you have a covenant contract with the company that to work for eight hours, you have to do your job. Simple things, wallahi, would be questioned on. You owe someone money, pay him back. You backbited someone, ask Allah forgiveness. So many interactions between each other, you will be questioned. Every one of us, we will be questioned. When I say you, it should be we. I'm included, I'm the first one in front of you. And we, all of us will be questioned on everything. Look at this. The Prophet ﷺ said, the, when the two deers are fighting each other, they're fighting each other, one of the twins, they will come in the hereafter, and Allah will take from the bad one to the good one. But they will change dust. What's the big deal? No, it's the fairness. Everything has to be right. The most one. No one is better to take rights from each other. Then really, that's what we have to worry about. Someone will say, it's very hard. <coughs> yeah, I know. That's why we will be standing on the sixth bridge for a long, time, a long time. I know it's a long time. But what's our plans? Inshallah, at the end I'll say. What should we do? Simple things that we can do sometimes. All right, someone sneezes. That's it. And he say Alhamdulillah. You heard Alhamdulillah. And you don't respond, you don't care. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Oh, you have rights here. You have rights, I have rights. If I sneeze and you, say, you hear me and I say Alhamdulillah, and you don't respond, I'll take from your hasanat in the hereafter. Except if I forgive you. But if not, that's how, how hard it is. Just a sneeze. I'm telling you a simple thing. I sneezed. And they, you heard me saying, Alhamdulillah. And you don't respond. What should you say? Alhamdulillah. Then I, I should respond. Simple things. Simple things, Wallah. Sometimes I see, especially for the youth, and there's no youth today. All of us are youth, Alhamdulillah. All of the youth here, I see someone who is attacked or someone is dissing someone. And you don't respond. Even this one is not in the, in the place. Someone far away. I'm sitting with a brother. And we're saying, you know, brother Ali. He's not here even in that place. He's a bad guy. What do you think? He's not there. Ali is not there. He didn't see you. But in the hereafter, you both of you are coming in. You backbited me. Come, give me your hasanat. Give me. 
backbiting. And really, before, in the previous era, the women were the best in that. Now, alhamdulillah, we're competing with them. The men now are hardest. You'll see even in the TikTok and chat, and everyone, let's say, you know, brother, we have, we saw him doing that. And everyone is spreading the rumor. Oh, come on, come on. Are you sure? Before you send anything, think about it. Your WhatsApp, you will be questioned on your WhatsApp. Your wording, your chit chat, your like. Someone dancing, yeah, and you chat like, okay, come. Why do you like it? Simple, well, I like, like. You would be questioned. You would be questioned on a like. Someone is killing someone, and you say, okay. Okay, let's forward to see the killing and. You know, because what's your intentions? Simple things, wallahi, it's very hard. We have to follow definitely the rules of the country we're in. We have to follow the rules. Whatever the rules are, try your best to follow them as much as you can. Because, you know, if you're caught, the police will get you. But if you're not caught, Allah will, will punish you. Allah is there watching you, watching all of us. Red, red light. No one is watching. Let's go. No. Stop. Why? Because someone else is uh, questioning you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is questioning you. Why you passed the red light? But there's no one there. No. The rules of the country you have to follow. That's how hard it is. The questioning. Okay. Someone did some bad things to someone else. Someone hit someone. I did some backbiting. No. There's something else now. I committed pain. And you can stop it. Or at least say something about it. You'll be questioned if you didn't do it. You'll be, we will be questioned, all of us, if I see something and I don't respond to it. When the Prophet ﷺ was sitting with the Sahaba and we're talking about Abu Dhar. And Abu Dhar was late. And one of the people around said, Nafaq, he was a hypocrite. And the Sahabi jumped up. No, he is not. He is a hobby. And he's coming. Something made him late. And the Prophet didn't respond to both until Abu Dhar came. Really, you have to stand supporting your brothers. Our worst part is sometimes, I believe, one of the hardest I heard once Sheikh Sharawi saying, if you see someone drinking wine, someone of our brothers drinking wine, what should I do? Take a picture. Send it to everyone. Hey! Sheikh Ihab is drinking wine. What are you doing? Now he's drinking wine secretly. You show him publicly. Now I don't care. I'll do it. I'll do it publicly. Now, who is the happiest of all? Satan. Satan is the most happier of all. Because really you're helping him. Instead of that, when he was sober, he's sober now and he's not doing anything. Come to him nicely and saying, you know, it's khamr, is haram. You should, we, should, we should, we, talk to yourself, we. Should I say about myself? Yes. In the Quran, even when the discussion between us and the mushrikeen, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَلَا تُسْأَلُونَ عَمَّا أَجْرَمْنَا وَلَا نُسْأَلَ عَمَّا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ What does it mean? We're not, you will not be questioned on my big things, which is what? Islam. We are Muslims. Oh, it's a big thing. But we will not be questioned on what you are doing. And Allah said, said talk to about them is amal. And definitely they are kuffar. One of the worst things, but when we discuss, when we try to guide, remember the ayah, وَدْعُوا إِلَىٰ سَبِيلِ رَبِّكَ بِالْحِكْمَةِ وَالْمَوْعِضَةِ الْحَسَنَةِ وَجَادِلْهُمْ بِالَّتِي أَحْسَنِ Remember that. Even with, sometimes we do that with our kids at home. Your kids are not studying. How dare you? I'll kick you out of the house and I'll do this and I'll do that. Your son will go and study sometimes, but sometimes he will not, even if he tried. Or your daughter, definitely. Hijab is that. I just make a big fuss out of it. Is hijab important? Definitely. A must? Yes. No one will say otherwise. But slowly. What's worse, keeping them in Islam 
or kicking them out of Islam because of hijab. Keeping them in Islam. Then really try your best to be smart when you guide someone. If someone is a little bit far, especially the people who came to Islam and now they are more multazim, more I want to pray five times in the mosque and I want to do this, I want to do that. And when you see someone just standing in the wrong place, your prayer is not accepted. You are in the hellfire. What are you doing? Yesterday you were not coming even to the mosque. Today you are a sheikh and da'iyah. Slow down. Slow down. Don't make it as hard as this. When you guide someone, nicely, slowly. I know it's hard. Give excuse to the people who are in bala. Then, finishing with that, the shaitan wants all of us to the hellfire. And not only that, by the way, for anyone who doesn't know, shaitan is kafir, it means that he doesn't believe, uh, no, Allah uh, exist? No. Where is the, uh, uh, where is the dalil? From the Quran itself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about the shaitan, when he talked, فَبِعِزَّتِكَ لَأُغْوِيَنَّهُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ He's, 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 he's swearing with Allah, then he knows Allah. He knows, uh, not only that, he was there. Before Adam, alayhi salatu wasalam, then really, he knows, he knows Allah better than all of us even. But with that being said, he wants all of us to go to the hellfire. And the only question I'll ask everyone, especially the youth, I can see some of you showed up now. Who is the, the, who's the shaitan of the shaitan? Why shaitan? Even though he's in the khutbah. But why the shaitan went out? Who, who, who told him to deviate? Who? The only thing the ulama said, Al-Kibr, show off. Can't you see? Ana khayrun minna. Khalaqtani minna wa khalaqtahu minna. I'm better than him. Come on. Why didn't you see? I'm better than all of them. All of them. How can I prostrate? Allah is the one who's asking you, not anyone else. Allah is asking everyone to prostrate in prayer. Then you do it. Allah commanded you in something? Stop. Do it. Don't be smart and say, mm -hmm. no, no, I'm better. I will not do it. No, do it. That's what shaitan did. I am better than Adam. Then if you see someone deviating in the sake of Allah, making sure that he's out, what should you do? It's nicely. I'll finish with one story. Sayyidina Abu Bakr radiallahu an, and he's the best walking person on the earth after the prophets. Someone was sitting and the prophet is sitting. And this man is insulting Sayyidina Abu Bakr. Swearing at Sayyidina Abu Bakr. And Sayyidina Abu Bakr doesn't talk anything. Swearing at Sayyidina Abu Bakr and doesn't do anything. And Sayyidina Abu Bakr got angry. He's human at the end. He's not a prophet. And he was starting to respond. And immediately the prophet left. Now imagine with me, some of us are angry and your, your brother is standing beside you and because you want to respond, he leaves. What are you looking at? He, oh, Sayyidina Abu Bakr is looking at who? At the one who is insulting him or at the Prophet at all time? At the Prophet at all time. When the Prophet moved, he didn't say anything and he left with the Prophet. Oh Prophet, can't you see? He's insulting me. He's saying bad words against me. And the Prophet said, والسلام, Yes, I saw that I was there. When he were do, he's doing that, Allah sent an angel to respond on your behalf. And when you wanted to revenge, the angel left and Satan came. And, Mag and the Prophet will not sit with Satan in a place. Then really, anger is from Satan. This doesn't mean that, okay, someone is hitting. I didn't say hitting. I say swearing. Someone is insulting. Someone came to Sayyidina Ali and started swearing to him, swearing to him. And Sayyidina Ali said, said Salam. That's all. Salam. And the man went to his brother. He said, oh, you see, I made him angry. He said, Salam. And the, Sayyidina, the man told him, you're ignorant. In the Quran, he said, وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا خَطَبَهُمُ الْجَاهِلُونَ قَالُوا سَلَامًا the, the ignorant when he comes to you, and you know, 
He's doing that to make you angry? Salam. Don't respond. Keep it in the hereafter. Trust me, you will be rewarded more. What should we do to increase our hasanat, decrease our sayat, and stand when the question comes? This is the second part of the khutbah. Qulu khawli hadha wa astaghfiru alaykum fastaghfiru ya fazam mustaghfirin. اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا واصرفنا في امرنا وضفنا وصغرنا وقرانا اللهم اقنا اللهم اجعل اللهم اشفى مرضنا وارحم والدنا لطيفين فيك رجلك ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا اما بعد then i was talking about حقوق rights in the sixth bridge by the way i always stop in the sixth bridge the seventh bridge is الرحم the seventh bridge on the hellfire is الرحم connection all of us are connected somewhere is the connection between each other. Rahim, your brother, your sister, your mother, your father, all the connections. This is, you will be questioned, did you connect? Did you talk? Did you talk to each other? When you see your brother, your son, your everyone. And by the way, every one of you is a, is a brother or a son to me, or a father. But I'm old now, you know, I'm over 25. It's hard to be a father. But anyway, Alhamdulillah. Now, what should we do? What should we do as Muslims? I made so many sins, even coming in, walking out, everywhere. I told you before, I was driving on one road and someone came from out of nowhere and started swearing at me. I thought to myself, what did I do? I didn't cut them off. I was driving alone in the street. I don't know, but definitely I will know in the hereafter. after. So I will, the picture will come to me. I did something wrong, definitely. Why he's swearing me, he doesn't know me. I did something wrong. What? I don't know. Until today, I don't know. But subhanallah, then what should we do? One, commit istighfar. Whatever you remember, astaghfirullah al-azim, astaghfirullah al-azim, whatever. But subhanallah, I didn't do that many sins. Yeah, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, he didn't do any sins, and he was doing istighfar every time, hundred times. When you say hundred, it means a lot. A lot, whenever he said astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. Instead of using your tongue, May train your tongue to say astaghfirullah. Train your tongue. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. Remember that. Remember to do, do dua to your parents because they're alive or dead, like I told you, because they need your dua. Your gift to your parents. Allahumma ghfili wa li walidayya wa muslimin ajma'in. Allahumma ghfili wa li Commit on a time, a specific time. And I really, I commit between, between, between sujood. When I do so good, I always say, Subhan Rabbi Al-A'la, Subhan Rabbi and sit. When I sit, Allahumma ghfili wa radayya wa al-Muslimin al-Aqba'in. Allahumma ghfili wa radayya wa al-Ashab al-Huq alayhi. Allahumma ghfili wa al-Radayya wa al-Muslimin. Allahumma ghfili wa radayya wa al-Ashab al-Huq alayhi. If you have time, say both. Okay? Because they are the most people they need. Three, if you not remember, if you know that you owe someone some money, return it to him. <coughs> Now the question comes, if I said bad thing about a brother, should I go to him and tell him that? He will feel bad about it. Make istighfar to him. Make istighfar to the brother. I made bad thing to brother Ali. Oh Allah, forgive Ali. Oh Allah, make him better. Oh Allah, make, me, make him forgive me. Make him forgive me in the hereafter. Make extra dua to him. This will reduce our F U R U N U S U, whatever you, it will stop us. Trust me. Subhanallah. Then, the last thing, make dua to everyone in our ummah. Everyone. If every one of us make dua to everyone, all of us will be in Jannah. Everyone. Remember that part. Because everyone, you send the dua, imagine I send a dua to him. I'm, really? I'm making him dua, and uh, what, what, what's the dua? What, what's the response of dua? If I make dua, Allahumma ghfir, Sheikh Mahmoud, as for example, he's one of the shiukh, my shiukh. He's dead. He, he, what I'm getting back? Oh, an angel will come down and tell, Walaka and you're the same. Who's better? You or me, the angel? You make dua, and the angel come and responds. That is, angel is better. Then really, if you are smart, make dua to everyone. The angels will come and tell, and you're the same. Remember that. Make extra dua. Make extra dua because I see a young boy here. It's your son. Five, three, four years. Make dua to him. This is not in the khutbah. But really, when you remember our mother, uh, the mother of Maryam. Allahumma inni eh, 
Allah, he should make a dua to get a bias son. Make dua to your bias son. Make dua to your son. What's your name? My name is Yusuf. Who's Yusuf? Tell him the story. Who's Omar? Tell him the story. Who's Ali? Tell him the story. Why did you name him Abdullah? Omar, Abdurrahman. Why Abdurrahman? Why not John? Because really for that. And tell him so that he's, co he's connected. Remember extra dua to everyone. Extra dua for forgiveness. Special to me. Allahumma hadina fi man hadayt. Allahumma hadina fi man hadayt. Wa afina fi man afayt. Allahumma jma'na wa la tufarriqna. Allahumma aghfir lana wa li walidina wa liman sabaqana bil iman. Wa la tajal fi qulubina ghilla lalina amanu. Rabbana innaka raufur rahim. Wa akhiru da'wana. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Wa qumu ila salatikum. Warhamkum Allahu aqimis salah.